Hey everyone, uh, it's Matt, and today I'll be reading to you another SCP entry. This one is SCP-8595, and I hope you'll enjoy it. Item number 8595, level 1, unrestricted, containment class, safe. Special containment procedures, SCP-8595 is SCP-8595 does not biologically differ from non-anomalous members of its species. Standard temperature regulation and habitat construction have been implemented. SCP-8595 follows a strict diet and will refuse certain foods. Description SCP-8595 is an American cockroach which believes itself to be a restaurant critic. SCP-8595 is sapient and sentient, but is not capable of speech. When presented, SCP-8595 will eat the item and write a review of it, the interior of the location where the item was eaten, the service, and the concept of the supposed restaurant. Combining these elements into a rating out of five stars. It is assumed that SCP-8595 
for being presented with the apple. SCP-8595 crawled along its surface for 15 seconds before beginning to eat. It then wrote the following review on a nearby laptop. Cafe 322, a mess. Would you be impressed by a soccer player bragging about their kicking ability? No, I wouldn't think so. Being able to kick a ball is below the bar I expect from a professional athlete. A restaurant announcing its use of fresh ingredients conjures similar feelings in me. Mal offers 
was a seasonal chef's menu which I attempted to indulge in. The first course, a twist on nachos as it was described to me, was tortilla triangles, fried and seasoned with a spice mix. The chips were cold, as if they never touched oil, but punched me with a lot of flavor. This was my favorite dish, specifically for the odd blue seasoning a few chips had sprinkled on them. These were few and far between, but the flavor of this blue seasoning was absolutely delicious. I would eat a bowl of this alone. The deconstructed bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich bored me. I'm at a loss because I'm sure everyone here has had a BLT in their lives. It is arguably a perfect sandwich. Maul, in its desire to conquer God, reinvented this perfect sandwich and made it a hassle to eat properly. These two dishes display my most glaring qualm. I do not mind eating with my hands, but there should be a reason for it. I could have very easily been presented with a BLT, but no, that wasn't different enough. The dessert eggs were an interesting idea, but were executed poorly. I've never been a fan astronomy. I was once presented with small caviar-sized orbs of a red liquid in a bowl, and was told it was tomato soup. These dessert eggs were flavorless, tasting more of sweetness than anything else. When I asked my waiter what the flavors were, as the eggs were in all different colors and had no discernible theme or pattern, she picked one up, smushed it between her fingers, smelled it, told me buttered popcorn, and then ate it herself. That level of care told me all I needed to know of Mal. Good ideas, and some good flavors, but bad execution. Two stars. SCP-8595 again entered a hunger strike, refusing to try the new chef's menu at Mal, retry Cafe 322, or eat its foundation-supplied sustenance. This continued for three days. After discussing with Overwatch Command, researchers were given carte blanche on SCP. 8595's containment. Under a Foundation front company, Site 322 recruited a Michelin-starred chef to create and prep a three-course meal. A sub-basement floor was torn down and reconstructed into Red Bell, with oversight from three Foundation interior designers. The space was crafted to resemble a high-end American steakhouse, with custom-made wood paneling on the walls, a full bar, hand-built tables, and imported cutlery. Researchers Julianne and Julian Hoover were trained to be servers, and were given formal uniforms. Following items were served. Beef tartare served with bell pepper slaw, jalapeno spears, raw egg yolk, capers, beef bone marrow, and crostini. A wagyu tasting consisting of three thin and seared pieces of Japanese A5 wagyu. Australian Wagyu, and Kobe beef with wasabi crema. Prime rib topped with lobster meat, accompanied by Yukon gold mash, beef and lobster au jus, and truffle mac and cheese. The following was the result. SCP-8595 
and five was given each course and a wine pairing. In between each course, SCP-8595 took notes on a provided laptop. While attempting to drink the wine paired with his first course, SCP-8595 fell into the cup and had to be fished out by wait staff. The review was as follows. been a reader of mine for any length of time, you'll know minimalism or the less is more concert has never been my favorite school of thought. I can most definitely commend when a chef works within self-imposed constraints to give their guests the best time, and I have enjoyed minimalist restaurants. Red Bell is a maximalist restaurant. Everything in Red Bell, from the waitstaff to the tables, from the bar to the plates my meals were served on, kicked and screamed of the need to be taken seriously. It was almost too perfect, and I began questioning if I was, in fact, in a real restaurant. meeting with 
with Overwatch Command was held, and new restaurant ideas were floated, but it was assumed that the Foundation's efforts would be in vain. After the data from all of SCP-8595's reviews were compiled, a pattern was established, and a new and likely final restaurant was organized. Carpathe. Site 322's dumpster was moved indoors and placed in an empty supply closet. SCP-8595 was laid inside, re-emerging after two hours and nineteen minutes. The review was as follows. Carpathe. Scrumptious. Five stars. Does it for this SCP entry?